Good morning. Welcome to the Art Money Talk. My name is Mo. Today's question is how to make money with art skills. Yesterday we have talked about how to make money as an artist, as a full-time fun art professional, painting and selling art. Today we're going to take a different approach. We're going to talk about how to make money with art skills, yet not being an artist. First, I would like to make a disclaimer. I'm not trying to say, hey, artists, go and get a day job. No matter if you want to embark on a full-time art career or find a job, it's totally okay. There's not one better than another, and it is you who have to choose what is the best for you. In the ideal world, money is not an issue. We can just pursue our dreams. However, we live in a world of inequality. In 2017, 82% of wealth generated that year went to the wealthiest 1% population. There are 99% of chance that you're like me. We are the 99%, we got peanuts, we got nothing. So we have to really fight hard, work hard in order to survive and strive. So let's get to business. How to make money with art skills. The art skills here we're talking about, I believe, you know, it's at least a skill level of a fine art school graduate. You may not agree with me, but hey, look, if you are coming out in the labor market, you are competing with other art school graduates. You have to be able to match their skills in, in order to compete for a job. So at least we're talking about a minimal industrial standard here. There are so many jobs you can do with your art skills. Here, I'll just simply divide it into two situations. It's working in a creative industry and working in other industries. Working in the creative industries. Culture and creative industries is also called CCI for short. is an important part of our economy. In Europe, it's about 7% of the GDP and that's 14 million jobs. I don't know where you're from. In your country, it's at least 4% of your GDP. What I'm trying to say is there are a lot of money going on and there are a lot of opportunities for you. If you have solid art skills, I would recommend you to take a job in the CCI. So one day if you would like to become a full-time artist, at least you are still in the same domain. Those are just a big picture above and let's dive into some specific positions you can consider using your art skills. Number one, teaching positions, such as an art teacher. This is especially a good position if you enjoy long summer holidays, long winter holidays, a lot of flexibility, a lot of spare time so you can make art at the same time. It's a fair pay. It won't make you a millionaire, but you'll be able to support yourself and perhaps save some money as well. You will need solid art skills in order to be an art teacher. Apart from art skills, you will also need to be a national of the place you work in. You will have to also have a crystal clear criminal record and a degree like master in fine art. There might be some other requirement quite difficult to meet apart from the art skills. Number two, technical positions such as a graphic designer. This is probably the most frequently chosen career path alternative to an art career by many other fine art graduates. Those jobs are often higher paid than a teaching job and that's normal because uh, also your working hours is longer and more intense. My suggestion is you just work really hard for two years, take the money, uh, take the saving and then embark on a full-time art career. In a technical position, your art skills will be a cherry on the cake. You can easily justify a higher pay for having those skills. Number three, managerial positions such as the art director. It may take you years, even 10 years, in order to get to that managerial level. So perhaps if you're already working in a managerial level, you won't just quit in the best time of your career and just quit and become a full-time artist. Perhaps you want to you know, work until you retire and secure a good pension and then start working as a full-time artist. It's also a good choice. Your art skills will be like trophies. Perhaps they are now sitting on the shelf collecting dust, but it's something good to have. You can easily impress people and it makes your life easier as an art director if you have those art skills. Independent professionals, such as a wedding photographer. As a self-employed freelancing professional, you can have the flexibility, you are your own boss. However, you are facing the same problems as becoming a full-time independent artist. If you have the money, the time, the skill, the confidence, why not becoming a full-time artist instead? 
In many cases, you won't need art skills at all in order to be your own boss and work in the creative industry. You will need other skills, perhaps managerial skills, accounting skills, legal knowledge, and time management skills, or like PR skills, or people skills, for example. You will need many other skills, and perhaps the art skills are just sitting on the bottom of that list. Working in other industries. I have met so many artists who are working in another industry and who actually have a very successful career that is totally unrelated to art. At the same time, they are also working as artists in their spare time. I call them the dual career artists. I just made it up. They can be artist lawyers, artist accountant, artist engineers. There are so many combinations. And you may say, hey, you don't really need art skills in order to work as an accountant, engineer, lawyers. You don't. Well, we're talking about how to make money with art skills, right? Sometimes your art skills together with your professional skills, they can make magic. Imagine if you are a lawyer, especially working in the intellectual property rights. Being a lawyer with art skills, you can easily make a great bond with your client who are other artists. Perhaps they are desperately looking for solutions to protect their creations, and they would rather look help from you than from any other lawyers who are just a bloodsucker with a suitcase. I didn't make it up, it's from the B-movies. Also, you can use your legal knowledge to protect your own copyright. Your legal knowledge together with your art skills can make a magic combination and make you stand out among thousands of other lawyers and give you a competitive advantage. Odd jobs. We usually picture an artist waiting tables in order to save money to make art. Like in the movie Million Dollar Baby, the protagonist was waiting tables in order to save money for her training to pursue a full-time boxing career. You may say, hey, in this case, you don't really need art skills at all, like waiting tables. Well, there are some jobs perhaps you will need art skills as well. For example, if you're working as a painter of the walls, or if you're working as a mason or a carpenter, it's very good to have those art skills. However, I would suggest you to stay away from those odd jobs. Those jobs take a lot of time and they get paid very little, so perhaps you'll never save enough money to quit your job and start a full-time art career. There are limitless jobs an artist can do with art skills in the labor market, inside and outside of creative industry. My favorite position will be a technical position within the creative industry, because you're staying close to art and you're learning new creative technical skills every day and you're getting paid enough money so you can save money to one day kickstart your art career. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.